Court releases Tamayban MLA Joy Kishan. The MLA was arrested by police for defying CRPC 144. BJP President Chawa asks for all party meeting along with CSOs to end temporary market impasse. Women vendors of Pantobi temporary market protest against imposition of curfew in Kwai Bazaar. And full dress rehearsal for Republic Day parade held in Impa. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime News. I am Shalab Toism with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Thangmaiban MLA Kumukcham Joy Kishan was released without any condition after arresting him for a few hours. Speaking to his supporters at his residence after the release from Imphal Police Station, MLA Joy Kishan said he will stand against any policy or program taken up by the government against the will of the people. He maintained that he has every right to intervene in any such step of the government, whether it is in his constituency or not. Joy Kishan termed the construction of temporary market shed in Tangal Bazaar by the government despite objections from every corner as an act of dictatorship. The MLA who was arrested by police this morning was produced before the Chief Judicial Magistrate in Fall West in the afternoon. The magistrate released him unconditionally. Earlier people burned effigies of Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister near the ABC Godown. <laughs> Tauri bese masi go megiam aran ma kongthang miyam na pa do mupum da temporary se se sa bagi kongjang se ai han ba lai roi Manipur government na su na si bogi mai kai da akoi da antra ga ai ngon da masi matam da khana ne na si hai bagi phai ra po pum mat lai te khara min kai thia da na ta na tum da yeng lakat ba khuri pu da nam pu sha sha na bese tha do si praja gi khan ba ba du amuk tang di khan ba government do ebiu Spokesperson Thangmaiban United Club, Lai Sangthem Pratap said, Thangmaiban United Club and amalgamation of 30 clubs in Thangmaiban have decided to extend support to the TAKDO and the people of Thangmaiban, urging the government to stop the construction of the temporary market shed in Thangal Bazaar by tomorrow. Pratap said if government fails to stop the construction, a 24-hour public curfew will be announced from Monday in Pauna and Thangal Bazaar. He said support from various civil society organizations will be sought and initiate intense form of agitation if government ignores the ultimatum. <laughs> Hari opposit sumbra sumdabra hari itu kanal matung dah masih asum berkong thang ni anak thang ini United Club na low bagai lain anak hujik tak dua lagi na sengsel di berkong seng sida ikhoy na mateng pang pang sen bahaya wara itu low re hari yang normal jenis ibu menung dah ikhoy ya na bawa mak gam ena hujik itu tanggal kaitin sari ber temporary market asil lepan bah kau yang bah yang normal jenis ibu menung dah lihat tu target di ikhoy na matangi normal bah ni tu kawat lagi ikhoy pun kumari City police arrested Thangwaiban MLA Joy Kishan for defying curfew around 10.20 this morning. He was taking part in a protest against the construction of temporary market in Thangal Bazaar. Defying the prohibitory order, people today took out to street and strongly protested the curfew clamped in some parts of Thangwaiban constituency by the magistrate in Fall West. A large number of people marched from Kuyatong to Nagamapal Rims Crossing. Protesters enraged by the arrest of Thangmeban MLA turned violent and scuffles between the protesters and the police ensued. Police had to resort to water cannons, tear gas shells and mock bombs to disperse the mob. A number of police personnel also sustained injuries in the melee. Earlier speaking to media, MLA K.H. Joykishan said he will continue his protest against the construction of temporary market shed on Thangal Bazaar Road. He however added that Projecting his protest as an objection by an opposition MLA in the matter is unfortunate. Bazaar temporary set Saba niyam ne pamne drava masiri mayukta hanbala itna chata gani. Go mena makoi ay phaba ay jalat hamba ay matata any action loka pe yagani. Adu bo ay ne ngasi tauri bese. Bilai ribo government ne sina BJP opposition MLA amna tau gani ne ure. 
मकोई ने मसीब बरजामियां की आई से मनीपुर बरजामियां की मिहुन ने हमसे कहो रहे अधुना मधु की दमता इस चपचाना आई अच्छा लोग कितने आई आई चपचाना आई कुंगल जिंदगी में चलिए प्लीज सुनो बीजेपी मनीपुर प्रदेश प्रेसिडेंट टी एच चावा हैज कॉल फॉर मीटिंग ऑफ ऑल पॉलिटिकल पार्टी लोकल एमएलएस एंड सिविल सोसाइटी ऑर्गेनाइज and union home minister chauba said arresting the mla will not solve the issue he further said the matter has also been brought to attention of the central leaders as the two imam markets were built with the central funds condemning the police action on bjp mla kh joykishan who was arrested by state police chauba said arresting the mla will not bring a permanent solution permanent solution can be brought about by joint meeting where it can be decided whether it was okay to build the temporary market on thangal bazar road or elsewhere arresting the mla and cracking down on public will not bring about solution he also accused the government of not giving timely notice to the public and shop owners about the government's decision to block the road if the government can give public notice to divert roads for sangai festival why not for this incident he asks showing empathy for those injured in police crackdown he said at least four including women have been injured when police fired tear gas and rubber bullets while jokishan was taking out a rally to hold a peaceful dharna this he said will not bring about any permanent solution he said there are two group of women one who wants a temporary market to be built in dangal bazar and other who do not want under these circumstances only a joint meeting will be able to decide He appealed to the Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh to call the joint meeting to solve the problem for once and all. The whole problem has started after the two Imakai hills were damaged in the recent earthquake. He said there was also need to look into the quality of the construction. BJP MLA TH Bishwajit stated that the arrest of MLA Joykishan is not the right step and it is an act of suppression at will by the government. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, MLA Bishwajit said the government must clarify the reason behind the arrest of an elected representative. He said MLA KH Joykishan's protest is not against the affected women vendors of Ima Market but against the inappropriate measures taken by the government in the interest of the general public. Bishwajit also said he will also join the protest to stop the construction section of temporary market shed in Thangal Bazar BJP Manipur Pradesh advisor Okram Joy appealed to the state government to stop the construction of temporary market for the time being and bring an amicable solution as soon as possible Joy Kishan da phari baji marum kari gino mayam phadar ga hai baji ma chauba question amo oina government da hangjari amodi government sing do pham thopani pabik mayam na pami ba pina ngam pal gi da koi parking oigani na hari bum pham sing da market chaba ya da bara jono ston gi maning da leri ba hang baji da parking chaba ya koi gi leri ba मार्केट टेम्पररी मार्केट से सब यादव सुमायन तौद ने एसेंब्ल की रोद अहंगब अहंग लम चब मफमसे मार्केट सब यादव सूख चिंग्रब मफमसे अखोन सजे गवर्मेंटना सानिंग मफमसद मफम तौसल है मर येलग मैं पाब पोट की थुगरक अटोप अटोप पोलिटिकल माइलेज लौनबीत तौबनी है आई गवर्मेंट है Opposition MLA Dr I Ibo Halbi today asserted that the issue of temporary market in Tangal Bazar is because of the government's hasty decision. However, the MLA maintained that the government has taken the decision in the interest of the women vendors. He said the problem would not have arisen had the government announced its decision to the people. Elected independent candidates in municipal council and nagar panchayat elections in Oinam constituency today showed their gratitude to the MLA. Pohanta bhaiya batho अब कमायबे सरकार की माइदी हंधर माले तमो सामने ट्रांसपरेंटली ओनेस्टली तबक पाइल तारबी मनपुर की प्रजा मनपुर की गवर्मेंट उब मेन ये अब थे लाबी सरकार अशुमायन प्रजा की पाइलना हम सा प्रजा 
Women vendors today protested the imposition of curfew in Kwai Bazaar and construction of a temporary market in Tangal Bazaar. A large number of women vendors of Ima Panthobi temporary market strongly protested the construction of temporary market in Tangal Bazaar and politicization of the market issue. They allege that women vendors are held to ransom when any people's issue arises. Executive member of Ima Panthobi temporary market Santa Nomaitem said the imposition of curfew in Kwaramban Kaitil has badly hit the women vendors who are struggling to make ends meet. She said the chief minister and his minister should take the responsible for the prevailing situation in the Kwaramban Bazaar. Expressing strong opposition against the construction of temporary market in Tangal Bazaar, she said it has violated the rights of the people living in the area and this is never hurt in the history of the world. Santa urged the government to make the temporary market in an appropriate site. It may be recalled that the magistrate of Imphal West has imposed CRPC 144 prohibiting the assembly or movement of any person outside their respective residences in Kwayatong area. Whole Kwai Bazaar and the Nagamapal road stretch from Kwayatong to Maharani Thong from 6 p.m. of January 22. Asi makta da koi koi po jon jani lag seri ba imai ben mayam si kala kala ek jono chenari ba mayam degi um kai da han han bham lai tada na kari na hau tada na kasi wari ba naari ba degi hotel kaya thongse lora ka thakse lora ka koi lai da ba na number lai bang ne ba koi sikse koi di adai adai sumat thakta pat paya da ba ishang na pi ma nama sing mayam jauri si puna maksi koi loi loi min dari ba ngata na imai ben market mari maksi da wari ba ngasi ki tau ba lai baksa irang amat thodi market te ta target tau koi si moi ki khulai oina si na ba adai koi pam jadi chuk pam pam jadi nung tigi sang da ba da ba ishing ma ishing pusali tengki thakse li kari ko mai hau lang Doctor, what are you doing? I am not sitting, sitting, lying. I am not doing anything. 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 Curfew imposed by the authority under CRPC 144 in the whole of Kwaramban market area has badly hit the normal activities in the market. The effect is also felt in other parts of the state due to the curfew clamped in the major business hub of the state. Mention may be made that District Magistrate in Fall West issued an order prohibiting people's movement in Kweathong, Kwai Bazaar and Kweathong to Maharani Bridge straight from 6 p.m. of January 22 until further order. CPI ML Liberation Manipur State Committee in a press release said the construction of temporary market shed in the middle of Tangal Bazaar Road is a wrong policy and constructing the market at other convenient place will be the right decision. Full dress rehearsal for the Republic Day Parade was held in Imphal today. The parade is commanded by Commandant of First Manipur Rifles Thokchom Radhesha. Several contingents of police, fire service, students of schools and college, are some rifles band are taking part in the Republic Day Parade. The parade began from First Manipur Rifles Parade Ground and passed the Kangla from the Southern Gate. It then passed the Kangla Path and returned at the First MR Parade Ground. There were traffic restrictions for the Republic Day rehearsal this morning in the heart of Imphal. The national flag will be hoisted in the Directorate of Prisons Complex at 7.30 a.m. on the Republic Day. Manipur People's Party has strongly condemned the state government's decision to construct temporary market shed on the middle of the road in Thangal Bazaar. Addressing media persons today, MPP President N. Sobakiran stated that although the state government took quick decision to construct the market shed after two markets of Ima Kaithil were destroyed by the earthquake, the decision to construct a temporary market in the middle of the road is not right. He also accused that Ibobi let government is stable because of the anti-defection law. He insisted that it is not right to block road for the sake of only 1850 people. The MPP president said the state government failed to announce their vision on the 44th statehood day. Aduna mi lising maga sani panjang kaygi lambi matinga di hai riba thau pangdaba lak taru high school ki wasasing clerical staff adi college ki magi teaching staff clerical staff adi ki master role edi ed hok tu taru mi amgi national highway tinga lam moy ke tien saagadra aduna sidi sidi lambi tinga lagu moy na ke tien saari ba mahu lang pukto di kari tau ni si ibo bina dai pungga mudra moy aduna dai pungga moy dau thabakti tauroi dabani hai riba mafam se hong tu piu adu ko mafam sabam da tau piu Students
students of government polytechnic at Tagel alleged that the authority has failed to repair the classrooms damaged by the January 4 earthquake. Speaking to Impact News, they said classes are not held and they will launch hesitation if the damaged classrooms are not immediately repaired. The building of the institute, girls and boys hostels were damaged in the earthquake. The management closed the institute after the earthquake. The students also alleged that no repair work has been taken so far. General Secretary of Government Polytechnic Students Union, Asem Prem Maitai, said the union has submitted a memorandum to the principal. He said earlier it was agreed that classes will be held at Manipur Institute of Technology from January 18, but about 400 students have not had classes for the 20 days. Prem said both the girls and boys hostel for the institute are in pathetic conditions and power and water supply need to be improved. ก็สิตบมรีตบสิตบเอไมติดะคราม่าสิรุมหุมไวดิไฮรุมหุมไวไวจะมีเลยสมตังจระกะมาพวกคนมีเงินสมตังจะไปไปซูนายบุ๋ม
The 44-year-old technician of Indian Roots, Kotalango Leon, has been chosen for this year's Oscar for Scientific and Technical Achievement. The Indian-American has won the award under the Scientific and Technical Achievements category for the design, engineering and continuous development of Sony Pictures Image Works. The main Oscar award ceremony will take place on February 28. Now the news from the world of sports. SAFC Wangoi trashed Kairak FC A4-1 in the first league of the second state level. KSYC foment a side open super soccer tournament at Kamakya Social Youth Club Hyangthang Ground. In the second league, HNSC Haurebi and UFC Uchiwa were drawn 1-1. 25 teams are taking part in the tournament which began on the 17th of this month. Quarterfinal matches will begin tomorrow. Tangmeban Athletics Union Tangmeban beat Patsoi Taumang Rising Club Patsoi Part 4 to clinch the title of second plate cricket tournament. Winning the toss, Tau batted first and were all out for 98 runs in 31.1 overs. In reply, PTRC were all out in 23.4 overs, making just 74 runs. All rounder Langol Yangba of Tau backed the man of the final match award. The tournament was organized by Manipur Cricket. Association at Luang Pokpa Cricket Ground, Luang Sangbam. Mangal FC Kontha Khabam have won the first Sabung Kok Cup All Manipur State level under 14 boys, 48 kg, 7 a side football tournament. Mangal FC Kontha Khabam beat YPF Yangang Pokpi 3 1 in the final. Kura FC was adjusted the best disciplined team. YDCL Pundongbam S. Toiba, best goalkeeper. EUC Kameng Kunjau Naupiken, top scorer. And YPF Yangang Pokpi S. Matai, best player. Before we end, let's see the headlines once again. Court releases Tangmaiban MLA Joy Kishan. The MLA was arrested by police for defying CRPC 144. BJP President Chauva asks for all party meeting along with CSOs to end temporary market impasse. Women vendors of Pantobi temporary market protest against imposition of curfew in Kwai Bazaar. And full dress rehearsal for Republic Day Parade held in Imphal.